okay, you know, I'm going to cook really good stuff, you know, a Mexican dish. A lot of people want to know how to make this. You can look it up online, but you can make it any way you want. So, I should have heated my pan because I don't not want to make a long video. Como estas? Como estas? I tried to blow myself up with a mucho flamo. <laughs> Anyways, so I had a couple of people ask me uh, about these soapies. So I cheated, okay? I didn't make the actual show. So I was told you could cheat it, it'll, it'll run off a little bit, but it's gonna be the same. So I'm really doing this for Clara. Okay, so my wife, she is my wife. So the thing you gotta start out with, the, the thing that tops it off really well is pork, all right? It's freshly cut pork, a lot of pork. Probably won't use it all on those, but uh, so what we're gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna do this whole video. It's gonna be on YouTube, or it is on YouTube. So it's for memories anyways. So anyways, how y'all doing anyways? Y'all doing okay? I know a lot of people ain't going on my channel. You know, it's okay. It's, it's fine, you know. Um, doing this for memories. People who remember back, even myself. I wish I wish I could have done these videos. I know I'm supposed to be spoken us on this stuff. But I, I wish that I had these videos of me 15, 20 years ago. I was a strapping young pup, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at me now. Old more out. But I'm more wiser. Yep. So the Lord has provided me very well. Okay, my friends. So just went to the Mexican store. They 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 had soapies, but I had to go way across town. Everything was blocked off. It took me like half an hour to get home. You know, Claire's working first day on the job. Um and she's all wore out. In fact, she's sleeping right now. I don't want to wake her up. But I'm going to use these these uh, corn tortillas, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm heating up the I'm heating up the pan for this right now. So hold on a second. Let me get these in. So actually, it's supposed to be a big pan for this. Oh wow. So anyway, what I'm going to do is. Um, the key to this, the key to make this taste really well, is the sauce, all right? So I was told by my mother that made this for me. Um, she was married to a Spanish guy for 25 years. She taught him how to cook it. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So you want to put like a spoon or half spoon of garlic, depending on how much you want to do. I could have got the other garlic and they, you know, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I, I put in basically a spoonful of that. And you want to leave it cold. You don't want to heat it. You want This is the sauce, okay? So then you want to put green peppers. Put jalapeno peppers in it if you like really hot stuff. But I remember her making it. And she would cook it on the stove. And my eyes were water and it was, oh my gosh, you couldn't breathe. It was just so overwhelming so if you, if you don't really like it really spicy um you don't have to use jalapeno hot peppers you can use green peppers and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fry these up so they get nice and toasty brown okay and then um we're going to put a little grease in there so they turn that brown but you don't want to put too much because you want the you want the the juice sort of cook out of that so okay so now you already, you already got the tomato sauce okay but when you cook it in with this, which I could have put the onions with that too, but you, but you don't want to do that because you want the fresh onions, the crunch of it, the taste of it, it sets it off. And I'm going to show you something in a minute, so to tell the rest of it. Um, I would have done the Facebook Live, but I wanted this on my YouTube, and Facebook Live's been messing up, so I figured this would be a better memory to put in than trying to put it on Facebook. My YouTube will be in there anyways. So let me get off of that. Let's get back to this. So. We're going to take these, onions, these tomatoes that we got right here. We're going to put them in with that. And then, this already has fresh, or 
the I cheated. I did I didn't ground it all up and stuff. So you can get like these tomatoes, they're already dice. It's got the juice. And the reason you want to do that is because you take the stuff and you put it in there as far as the the green peppers and the tomatoes that are already cooked. So you're gonna have those tomatoes are gonna be like you're gonna get rid of all that juice out of those fresh cut tomatoes. You're gonna put it in with these tomatoes so it makes it taste like it's freshly cut tomatoes because it basically is. So that's what you want to do, which I got quite a bit here. I tell you, that pretty, smells pretty dang amazing. It really does. So anyways, uh, before I burn my food, I'm going to rotate this. Oh, yeah. I should have used a bigger pan for this. I got sidetracked. So I, I am going to do the whole video on this. So if you, if you want to get past something or something now, you're not on Facebook Live, so you don't have to sit there and watch it. So I'm cooking, you're like, okay, I want to know what it looks like towards the end. You can actually fast forward it all the way to the end, all right? Now, hopefully, I'm going to be sending this to my mother. So I was thinking, why can't I send her a YouTube link? Because she doesn't know how to do it. She's 83 years old. So I haven't seen my real mom in like 35 to 40 years. I have not seen her at all. It's, so she's going to see me and it's cooking. She's probably going to say, you know, well, she's not going to type. I don't think she even knows how to type on the phone. But she can watch me. If you're seeing this, hi, Mom. Love you. So anyways, thank you for teaching me stuff. How to be a good cook, too. So anyways. So we turn this down a little bit. You turn this down a little bit, all right? I got a pause on here, so that I got a plan this time. I'm going to pause this video. And, I, and then when I, everything cooks, I'm gonna come back and it'll be right on here, okay? But I wanna show you something real quick. Come with me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, the thing that sets us off, okay? My friend Susan, in Arizona. Hi Susan. Yeah, I put your name in there. So you want these fresh cut onions in there because it, it, it sets it off. Like it's hard to explain. And I'll, I mean, you can't smell what's going on in here. The amazing smells that's going on. Once you start cooking it, you will, you will. So I'm going to try to send the video out to try to help some people, you know, and the true Spanish people are going to say, no way, no, that's no good. You know, you did not do that right. We should have fresh red peppers and they like that hot stuff, you know what I mean? But you can just use hot sauce and do the same thing realistically without burning your tongue into tomorrow. So anyways, so fresh cabbage, all right? So the reason you want that, it's hard to explain when you use the pork and the fresh onions and the cabbage and then the sauce, you take a spoon, you just take one spoonful, you can take two, and you dump that, that over, and I will show that when it's ready to go. I'll, I'll actually show you this is completely made. So I'm going to, um, there's not much more that I can show you until after this stuff's cooked, or I'm actually showing how to make the, the, um, the shells, because you gotta make them a certain way. So I'll be right back, so don't go away. All right, we're back. We've been letting it cook for a little while. Smelling el delicious oil. You know what that means, you know? You know, Linda, Linda. You ever see that video? Hilarious. So, here's, I don't know if you can really see that. I think I'm gonna have to do it like this. There's the pork, all chopped up. And there's a lot of it. I made too much. That's okay. We'll eat it. So, now, the pork is uh, it's not going to be tender unless you do something with it. Salt is a bad idea. Do not salt it all down. So, what you want to do, take some coffee out of the coffee filter. I'm joking. So, we're going to take water and you're going to dump it in there. Ooh, careful with that. I got grease spoiling. So, take water. Let it sit in there and cook for like 
seven minutes, seven minutes, and it will soften all that up to where you can just bite it and it'll just fall apart in your mouth. So, now, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> we got this grease pan, it's all greased up. You can see the smoke coming out of it a little too long. And you're going to cook your green pepper, and you're going to cook your tomatoes, okay? And there's a reason for that is, okay, is because in the sauce, the way you're supposed to do it is a, a bowl, in a cement bowl. You put your garlic in there, okay, which, you know, I use this garlic. It's already done. You put the garlic in there, and you put the tomato paste, or whatever you want, this, you want tomatoes, you don't want, you don't want the diced tomatoes, you just want, you want the, the sauce. So you're going to dump it in there, it's just going to be the sauce, there's no tomatoes. So what you're going to do, then you take the tomatoes, you put them in there, and you grind it all up, but you've got to cook the jalapeno hot peppers. Because if you don't, it's too hot. But, like I said, if you do that, be very careful. You take all the seeds out. Make sure you wash your hands before you touch your eyes or you go to the bathroom. I'm just warning you. Okay? So, the reason is, is your whole house is going to be infused with that hot jalapeno hot pepper when you, when you cook it. And you want to use a little grease, you want to brown it up. When that happens, you can't breathe, your nose is killing you, and it, I'm telling you what, you will not be able to stand to be in your own house. That's what I'm saying. If I were you and you don't really like hot foods, don't use the jalapeno hot pepper. This is some green pepper. And then, hold on a second. So, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's at. It doesn't matter. So, what you want to do is get some of that. All right? Use some of this. Put on as much you want to make it hot or not. Because I, I know this true Hispanics, they like their stuff mucha caliente. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to you don't want to do that. Trust me. I've been there, I've done that. And if you're with a true Mexican, they say, hey, put a little of this on this, you know? Hey, take a bite, you know what I mean? Oh, it tastes good for a second. And then your tongue's rolling in the back of your brain and your eyes are watering and your nose are going. And you can't stop it. I don't care if you eat bread. Don't chug water. That's not going to work. It doesn't work. You want to, you're going to have to, it's just time pretty much is what's going to take it out. You use bread, but yeah, still going to do that. So anyway, so we're cooking the, we're cooking the uh, tomatoes and the, the green pepper. And then that is going to go into this sauce. And as soon as the, the next part that I get ready to go, I'm going to pause the video again, and I will be back in a short time. Are you having fun yet? I am. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I'm whispering a little bit. Claire is sleeping on the couch. So anyways. You guys miss me yet? Uh -huh. <laughs> so anyways, um, so to dump the grease, let's do it. dump the grease in the pan for these shells. These are very thin. They're going to take no time. In fact, let me go inside. Very careful. So when you put this in, it's already you can hear it. It's gonna splatter a little bit. So I'm gonna show you real quick. We're gonna let this get really hot. You want it to really, really hot, okay? So when it cooks, it just flame boils it. You gotta watch it though, because it'll burn it fast. Here, I know it's sort of dark in there. So here's the the tomatoes and the green peppers. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
I'm just gonna throw it in there. You add it in with the, the sauce, add all that in. Alright. You're gonna stir it up. Now, meat, it's up to you. I like to throw two things of water in it twice. Oh boy, that's hot. Ooh. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna put those shells in there yet. So, take another thing of water. You can do it. You can do it twice because I'm telling you, if you do it twice, you let it cook all the way down. It's already brown. It will make that meat just fall apart in your mouth, and that's what you want. Otherwise, it's going to be stiff. Now you can't add this. So a lot of people, like Claire's, not a big salt fan, you know. But if you have some of this, it. It will give it flavor. It will give it a little flavor. So you just put that on. Just sprinkles over or something. All right, now the fun part, guys. You're going to hear it. You ready? Here we go. You want some tongs. Very hot. All right. It's starting to bubble. I can't, I can't hold the camera and do the whole thing. You see a bubble, when you see a bubble, you're gonna cut. Ooh, see? <laughs> it's gonna explode your face. So be ready to jump, okay? So you want this shell. You want you want it hard, okay? You don't want it burnt. So you want to flip, you know, leave it in there for a minute. You see a bubble, a bubble is gonna come on the shell. If you use these shells. If you use the other shells, they're already, you just gotta throw them in there. It's basically the same thing, but we're actually cooking these. So, as soon as it gets a little hard, you're going to you're going to turn it over again. Okay, I gotta hurry. I gotta think of this. You don't want to take paper towels. Take like three or four, and you're gonna to want to fold them up, well, like that, in half or whatever. So you can get it through. You want it in half. Set it on the plate that you're putting it on. So you're going to want that grease off. This is really hard. The shell is hard. It's turning a nice brown. I'll show you in a minute. It's turning a nice golden brown. That, that's what you want. When I get done completely, I'm going to tell you everything to put on this. Um, actually, I'll make it in front of you and show you how it's supposed to go be layered. Okay, um, this one won't have no cheese on it because Clara is actually sort of allergic to cheese. But I'll tell you where to put the cheese. And I'm telling you that there's a certain way of doing it to make it taste really well. So I'm gonna take this out. If I can get it out. Come on. So do you see this? You see? I don't want to make a fire. You see that? Hopefully, I got it on there. It's nice, it's hard, it's golden brown. You don't want it burnt. You can burn it very easily. So you can set it over here on the plate. I'll show you this part now. We take another paper towel. And rip it. Oh, that smells. Ooh, you have a Mexican restaurant where you have chips, like they're fresh, and you smell those chips. It smells good. So, anyway. See if I can see this. So there it is. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna press it down not too hard, and you're gonna press it down. All right. You'll see that grease start to come through. Just leave it on there. Leave it on there. Back to this. All right. So continue on making how many you want on the shells. Just make sure you back up when you put it in. Back up. And you don't stand next to it because it's going to start spitting stuff out. I'm making a mess all over the place. Can you, can you hear that? There's no water or nothing. That's just the shell doing that. So we got the we got this over here. It's starting to bubble up. You gotta really watch it. As soon as it starts to bubble, you, you flip it, okay? I'm just telling you. You flip it over. See what I'm saying? Now let's, let's get them out of the side. It's actually brown on this side a little bit already. 
because I left it in there because it is hot, like I've been having it in there. And these are the, those pans that I'm using right here are the ones on TV. Don't get them, they're live. They, they stick, they're junk. I'm just telling you, don't. In 1995, don't buy them. Go to Walmart and get the, the red. This set is the best set of, that's all you need. You don't need to spend 1995. Let's see if this is, oh, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna set this one on top of the one that you already got done. It's not gonna hurt nothing. So, and you're just gonna easily set it in there. And I'll show you something real quick before I do this. So, look at that. Nice golden brown. See the steam coming off that? That's making the meat really soft. A lot of people don't use water. Water's your friend when you're cooking meat, okay? So, now, the sauce. You take a fork. This is hot. You cooked it. You're going to stir it. You're going to stir it all up. All right? And you don't need a bunch of the sauce. You're just going to take one tablespoon or a teaspoon, and I'm going to show you, and you're going to go over the top, right in the middle. You're not going to put it over the whole thing. You're going to put it right down the middle of where you're eating from, and your taste buds are going to go, Wow, that tastes good. Oh, it's good, you know. That man is really cold, you know. So... Anyway, I know I'm crazy. Gotta love life. You only hear it once, my friends. Enjoy whatever comes along. There was another one. Ooh, I almost got it. So, I'm just gonna continue on. You've seen the, the sauce, how to make it. I'm gonna continue on with this. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna get ready to build this thing. I'll show you how to put it together. I'll be back. God bless. I'll be right back, guys. Don't go away. All right, so I'm back for a minute. Note, you gotta hold this down when it's bubbling up. It'll start to fold in. These gotta be flat. I gotta turn this real fast. So, the other thing is, you want it to be brown, okay? You see it start to turn brown. Don't take it off too early. You can flip it over as many times as you want to be safe. But make sure it turns brown. I just want to say that. You gotta hold this down because they'll, they'll puff up and it'll curl underneath and then your shells will. So I'll be back in a few moments to show you how to build this thing. God bless. Okay, so when you do this, you're gonna see this is really wet. Okay? You can't really see in there, but you want a little water in there, okay? Is the end, you're gonna stir it up. Alright? Now, it's hard to explain. It's just the feel you have when you cook. This is nice and fluffy, okay? It's like fluffy. And it's it's like dark. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cheat. It's dark. You see what I'm saying? It's really dark. And that's what you want. You want it really dark. Well, you want it brown. You know what I mean? So, you want to use a little grease in that when you start to use your pork chops. Let the grease take it out. Get it all brown. It's chopped up. You put it in there. And then, you let it cook. You let it brown. You let that grease go down. You get one glass of water. One coffee cup of water. You dump it in there. You let it go all the way down. Then you take another cup, or a half a cup, put it in there, like go all the way down, and leave just a little bit of water in there, and at the end you stir it up. That's how you do it, okay? All right, now we're going to the building part. Of, this is very important how you do this. You can use beans too. So here's your shell. See how it's nice and toasty brown? This isn't a soapy shell. It's not homemade. You don't have to do that. You don't. So, use a fork instead of a spoon. This is very important on this, it really is. So the reason is, 
when you put your sour cream, if you use a spoon, you're going to tap on it and it's not going to go on there right. So look, you take the fork, you can, you can make it go like this, see what I'm saying? It evens out, it's simple, it comes right off. If you use a spoon and you go like that, it's not going to work. I'm just telling you, you can do whatever way you want it, really. Okay, next, next is, oh, let me see. Yeah, so the sauce actually, in real life, is supposed to go last. It really is supposed to go last. So, you're going to take your meat that got cooked, and you're going to put it here. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. You can see it building it down here. So, you're just going to take a little bit. You're going to stack it on it. Next, cheese would go, but this is for Clara. So, you're going to put cheese on it, okay? Because I'm telling you, there's a certain way you got to do it to make it, to make it taste good. You put it a different way, it tastes a different way. It's just me. Maybe it's just me, but that's it's all it's the way it's built. So you put cheese on it. Next, you're gonna get your fresh onions. All right. I'm just gonna put a little on there, just a little bit. All right. So you go like that. Next, you're going to put your cabbage. Now I made a boatload of cabbage. I probably I made way too much. So you're just gonna take a couple pieces. And you're going to put it on there like that, like three or four pieces. Okay. Now, for me, I would have put the, the sauce sort of falls into place because it goes over all the stuff when you go to take a bite. It goes to the top of your mouth and runs down on your tongue. So it takes a minute to hit that pork and stuff, and the sour cream is going to be the first thing you taste. And then all of a sudden, this tastes okay. And then that sauce hits and ho oh, oh, ho. Oh. And I'm just saying, I know you don't like beer or whatever. But if you if you, the reason that you drink beer with the jalapenos, you it, it sets it right off. It makes it taste so fantastic if you have a glass of beer with it, not wine. If you have a glass a little glass of a beer and you use the jalapenos, that's when you drink the beer. Because it's hot. You you do it, oh, it is amazing. So, I really don't drink no more, but you know, when I did, oh my gosh. So, we got that, we got that, we got everything that's put in place. Now we're going to do this. So what you want to do, now, I, you should have more sauce than what's on this. This is pretty dry, okay? Like you see, I'm not, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty dry. So, you want that sauce to run down into your soapy but it's okay so we're going to take this we're going to put it over this i'm going to show you a good view of it here in a minute so you, what you want to do is you want to put it you realistically you don't want it on sides you want it right straight down the middle okay and the reason that is when you take a bite of it and it goes in the middle it squishes out and then it goes down into your tongue it tastes amazing so i'm going to show you this so let's see if we can get a shot of this. I'm trying to just do it like this. So let's hold this up. And that, without the cheese, is a soapy, my friends. So now you know how to make it. Try it out. And there you go. You know how to make it American style. Instead of, you know, because a lot of people do it their different ways. This is an easy way of making it. Anyways. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, God bless you all. I know a lot of people haven't watched or anything because I got all kinds of stuff on my YouTube channel. So I just made it because it was a sort of lengthy video. Anyway, God bless. Mucho fiesta mañana, mucho cerveza, and mucho grandes sopis, mucho benito. Cha-cha.